so you can able to see that in this problem uh, there are lots of complications like uh, you have uh, a semicircle so one two three semicircles and three full circles and uh, small rectangles one two three small rectangles and a big rectangle so you have at least 11 sections here to do this particular uh, problem so when you do that it will be a bit complicated and it takes lots of time right so when you have a problem like this right the first thing is you have to look after the uh, what are your uh, axis the axis is splitting your semicircle into two quarter circles again it becomes more complicated right so in that case what i'm going to do is i'm going to fix my axis right so i'm going to fix the entire figure in a first quadrant right so it is like this let me consider that this is my uh quad this is my axis right this i am fixing it here in the first quadrant right something like this when you do that so the first thing what i am going to do is i am going to identify what is my offset distance with respect to x axis what is my offset distance with respect to y axis so from my reference origin to the given reference origin right that is what i am going to consider so my reference y axis is here but the given axis is here so i have to identify what is this distance what will be uh, this dimension with respect to that right so in that case what you will get you will get 15 right? so i will start from here so 15 plus 10 25 right 25 plus another 15 right so totally you are having an offset of 40 right you have an offset of 40 mm with respect to the y similarly let us identify with respect to x what is my offset distance if i consider with respect to x right it is 50 right it is 50 so with respect to x axis your uh, your offset distance is 50 right so these are the two dimensions so which i have taken from my reference right from my reference now you know that i am fixing my axis here in the first quadrant like this this is my axis okay so this is my y axis and this is my x axis let us identify with respect to this right that is my first point the second one is uh, you have a bit of complications you can able to see that all this semicircle is having same dimensions 5 15 similarly this also 5 15 this is also 5 15 and all are 10 mm uh, rectangle right in that case first i will concentrate only on this part right so only on this particular shape because it is repeating three times i will concentrate only on this shape okay so we will complete what is the centroid x bar and y bar for this shape then i can use that as a formula and i can apply it for the second uh, set okay so i'm going to do as a two sets right one with this particular section the other one for the entire section right so when you do that you will get the overall capital x bar and capital y bar so that you can able to complete the problem okay right so if i consider only this part right so you know that you can split it into three one is a rectangle right a positive area the dimension of the rectangle if i consider so it is very less so you can able to see that it is a rectangle the dimension is only this part and this part right this is my rectangle what i am considering okay so your b is 10 your b is 10 and your height height is 15 radius is 15 radius 15 and another 15 so totally 30 your height is 30 right this is my first rectangle right next i am going to add it with a semicircle so you have a semicircle like this right this is my semicircle so again the dimension for this semicircle it is also a positive value right so it is also a positive value and this semicircle dimension if you consider your base of the semicircle is 30 and of course the radius is 
of k right after that i have a subtraction right so i have a hole here with respect to that so this is my hole a circular hole and you know the dimension the radius of the circular hole is given radius is pi right so we will identify this is subtraction minus indicating that this area has to be reduced okay now since i consider only this part so only this part i am going to fix this also with respect to x right a coordinate for this okay so in that case this is my coordinate so if i consider my coordinate uh, this is my x dash this is my y dash okay based on this only i am going to uh, solve this particular shape alone okay so let us consider what will be the value with respect to this right with respect to what is your uh, values for this okay i have a tabulation here so the first one is a section second one is area area a then small x bar then small y bar then area into small x bar and area into small y bar okay let me go one by one first i am going to fix my the first quadrant first section so this is my axis for that particular section and if i can stop here it is fixed in my it is a rectangle right it's a rectangle it is fixed accordingly so i, I will get something like this okay this is my rectangle okay so you know what is the dimensions with respect to this so one is 10 mm other is 30 mm so i can write it here so b is 10 h is 30 right so i can write here so now i will identify what is my area area is base into height when i say base into height it is 10 into 30 right so 10 into 30 you will get 300 right this is my value for this particular area next so if i go for your x bar x bar is b by 2 which is 10 by 2 right so which i will get as pi next y bar so y bar is h by 2 h by 2 is 30 by 2 right so which i will get as 15 now area into x bar so what i am going to do i am going to add it so so sorry multiply it so 300 into 5 right so if i do that i will get uh, 1500 that's my a into x bar similarly area into y bar so 300 into 15 so what you are getting for this 300 into 15 The four thousand five hundred. Sorry. Four thousand five hundred. Yeah, four thousand five hundred. So we're getting four thousand five hundred, right? Okay. Th this part is over. So now, if I consider what is my dimension, so you have a semicircle. Where is my semicircle? So my semicircle is here. So this is my axis, right? it is offset to 10 mm for the, from the axis right so semi circle so what i can do i can draw my semi circle here so if i consider what is the dimension so the dimension is 30 and radius is 50 right i will write r is equal to 50 okay so for this semi circle and this semi circle is having an offset distance right it is having an offset distance what is my offset distance if i consider my offset distance is 10 mm right so this is my axis so it is offset at 10 mm right so it is 10 okay now we will proceed with the same so area so area is semi circle so it is pi r square by 2 right there is a formula which means pi into 
15 square divided by 2. Right? What you are getting? 353.42. 353.42. Yeah, good. So this is my value. Okay, next. X bar. Right, X bar is, you can able to see that it is having an offset distance of 10 plus, plus uh, the distance is 4R by 3 pi. The distance is 4R by 3 pi because the distance here should be uh, from the base. It is 4 r by 3 pi right so which means 10 plus 4 into 15 divided by 3 pi so what is the value 16.36 16.36 so the next step is i will proceed with your y bar so y bar is nothing but d by 2 r 15 right so it is r either i can write it as r or d by 2 right so d by 2 is uh, 30 by 2 right which is nothing but 15. now just multiply this two so you'll get what is the values so this is 353.42 into 16.636 and here will be 353.42 into 15. So what is the value you are getting? 5781.9. Okay, good. 5301.3. Yeah. So, okay, good. So now we identify these things. The last step is we will go for our circle. We have a circle, right? So we'll proceed with the circle. Right. So my circle is somewhere at the top, somewhere here. So this is my location of my circle. Right. So when I look after what is my dimension with respect to this, right, not from the center, from your starting point. Okay. So that is important. So from here, that is my offset distance. What is my x-axis? Right. Just look after it. So totally it is 10. This is 10. So phi you are subtracting. So your offset distance for the circle is phi. Right? So your offset distance is phi. Similarly, what is the offset distance with respect to y? This identical with respect to y. Look here. So it is 15. So 15 is the center point, subtracting minus 5, right? So you'll get 10, right? My offset distance with y is 10. And you know what is the radius of the circle, which is given? My radius of the circle is 5. R is equal to 5. Now we'll proceed with this, right? So circle, so pi r square, that is my formula, right? So pi into phi square. So what you are getting? 78.53. 78.53. So make sure, so most of them will make a mistake. This has to be a negative one, right? Indicating that you are subtracting this area, right? So it is minus, okay? So don't forget this. Uh, the entire problem will get wrong. Okay, so you have to be careful in identifying which is a positive value and which is a negative value. Right? Okay, next. So we'll proceed with your x bar. x bar is pi plus r. The center point. Center point is r. So pi plus r. Which is nothing but 5 plus 5. So it is 10. x bar is 10. y bar. So I consider y bar, y bar offset distance is 10, right, plus r, similar to that. So which means 10 plus 5, so 15, right? So when I multiply, you know that, so I will get the values accordingly. So it is minus 78.53 into 10, and this is minus 78.53 into 15. 
right? So what we will get? So my this one will get minus seven eight five point three, right? What about this one? So one one seven seven point nine five, sir. Minus one one seven seven point nine five. Good. So now we identified what are the values with respect to this. Sigma A is adding all these things. I'm going to add this 300. Then I'm going to add this 353.42 and minus 78.53. So do that. So what do you get? 579.89. So 579.89. Okay, good. So now sigma A into Y bar, sorry, X bar. So adding all these things plus 7881.919 minus 785.3. So what you are getting? 6496.6. 6496.6. Similarly, sigma into A into Y bar. So I put it here. Sigma A Y bar. Right. I don't have much space, so that's why I'm writing here. Right. So again, so what I'll do, I have to add all these things. 4500, 5301.3, and minus 117.95. Right. So what is your AY part? 86? 83.85. Okay, good. So now we identified all these values. Point three 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 three. Okay, okay. So now well, what I am going to do is I am going to identify what is my x bar. So my x bar is sigma a into x bar divided by sigma a, which means so six four nine six point six divided by five seventy nine point eight nine. Right, we we'll get one value. This yes, eleven point. Two zero three mm. Okay. Similarly, capital Y bar. So capital Y bar is sigma A into Y bar divided by sigma A, which is equal to eight six two three point three five divided by. 579.89. So what is the value? 14.87 mm. Good. So now we identified. So if I look here, so what I identified, it's it's this is my object. Right? This is my object. So which is having as for this particular object. Uh, uh, removing the first one, the middle one, right? You don't have that. So you are you identified. So with respect to this axis, this is my x-axis. This is my y-axis. With respect to this axis, we identified it is eleven and fourteen, right? Eleven and fourteen. Okay. So make sure. So this is this is the entire component, right? So we are going to use that entire component wherever it is required and you are to going to identify right so if i look at this figure if i look at this figure now you have that entire component in three locations right so the one is this one another is this one so you have it like this this is one this is two and third one is like this one right third one okay so what I can do, I have a rectangle. I have a rectangle. So for this rectangle, I can include this three uh, sections one by one, and I can able to identify what is its value. Right? Okay. So for this three sections, we need some data. What are the data? First, what is my area for this section? For this entire section? This area is nothing but sigma A, what we identified here, right? So what is the area? It is 579.89. So 
point eight nine. So mm square. That is the entire area of this particular cross section, right? So that is the area for this particular cross section. Okay, that is good. Now x bar, I know I can identify. Y bar, I know I can identify. That is same for this two one and two. So for one and two, because the section is same, so it is like just like one day you have an offset distance. That's it. But when you look at here, right? When you look at third portion, it is a mirror image. It is a mirror image. In that case, that case alone, your x bar will change, right? So what will be your x bar for that case? So if it is a mirror image, right? You are if this is like this, if this is like this, right? Then what is my x bar? Y bar is same because it is symmetrical. It doesn't matter about your y bar. Y bar will be the same value whatever you got. Okay. So only thing is you have a difference in your x bar. Right, x bar is this total distance minus this x bar, whatever we identify. What is my total distance? Look here. So in my diagram, it is 10 plus 15. Totally, 25 is my total distance. Right. So my x bar in this case, it is 25 minus the real x bar, which is 11.2. So what you are getting, what is my x bar for this? So 13.8 mm. Right? This is the location of your x bar for this particular problem. Right? So some, somewhere here. 13.8. Okay? So for this one, you can apply these two things. Right? Whereas for this one, you have to apply this. Okay? And you have to identify. Yeah. Mostly, whenever you have a symmetrical, this will be half of the distance. I will leave there. But I, I, because of some, uh, um, what I can say, decimal places, you are getting 14.87. Actually, you have to get 15, right? Because it is symmetrical. When I cut in the x axis, right? So the top side and bottom side is symmetrical. In that case, it will be total distance by 2. Total distance is 30. So 30 by 2 is 15. This has to be approximately 15 actually. Right, correct answer is 15. But I don't know. So because of these decimal places, you are getting something like this. But anyway, so we will use the same data to solve it. Right, doesn't matter. So there is no much difference. Let, it, let us leave that. Okay. Okay, now we will proceed with my sections, the next sections. Right. So now if I consider this part, you have how many sections four sections so one rectangle full rectangle then sets of uh, semicircular rectangles a combination of these two right one two three okay so you have uh, four objects okay so make sure this is my axis now my axis is x y it is not x dash y dash so x y based on that only we are going to put that okay right let me solve it Right, you have a rectangle. Right, this is my rectangle. So, identify what is my offset distance for this rectangle. Right, so this rectangle is having an offset distance of around uh, this one, which is uh, how much 10 plus 15, 25. It is having offset distance of 25. Right, y axis, there's no offset. So x axis, it is having an offset distance of 25. So offset distance is 25. Right? And you know what is my base? What is my base of my rectangle? So base is 15 and 15. So totally 30. What is my height? Height of my rectangle. So 50 plus 15 plus 15. Right, so 80, 80 is my height of my rectangle. Right, so base is 30, height is 80. So I will write it. So B is equal to 30 and H is equal to 80. So now you know what is my dimension. So base into height, 
area is based on height, which is 30 into 80. So you'll get 2400. Next, x bar. x bar is 25, offset distance of 25 plus b by 2. Right? Which is 25 plus 15. Right? So you are getting 40. Next, y bar. y bar is h by 2. 80 by 2. So that is also 40. Right? A into x bar. So 2400 into 40. Right, so how much you are getting? 96,000. So you are getting 96,000. Very good. So you are getting 96,000. So this is also same, 96,000. Right, so all are addition. There is no subtraction, right? So this section here is, I'm going to consider this part, or first one, right? So something here, which I have indicated, okay? So for this, I have to identify what is my offset distance, right? So I will mark it here, somewhere here. So what is my offset distance with respect to Y and with respect to X, right? So if I consider with respect to Y, it is uh, how much? So I think 50. Are you getting 50? Yes, sir. Yeah, your y bar is 50. What about in x? x is uh, already we have this 40, right? So you have offset this is a 40. 40 plus 15, right? So you have 55. Your x is 55. Any doubt in this? No, sir. OK, your offset distance for my x is 55. So I will draw here. So now this is my object. It has an offset distance of 55 and an offset distance of 50. Right? So this is my entire term. So I don't know what is my base and what is my height and all. No need to write these things. You know what is the total area which just we identified. So area is 579.89. So for this, the entire area is 579.89, right? So this is my area. X bar, you know that. What is your X bar? 11.2, but it is having an offset distance of 55. So that I have to add it. 55 plus 11.2, right? So you will get 66.2. Next, y bar, y bar it is having an offset distance of 50 plus y bar is 14.87. So actually it has to be 15, but, but I will write as 14.97, doesn't matter, 14.87. Right, so what is my total? 64.87. Now multiply this to find out what is the values. So 579.89 into 66.2. Similarly, 579.89 into 64.8. So, so what are the values you are getting? Three seven six one seven point four six. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any any doubt in this? No, sir. Okay. Right. So the next thing is I am going to consider the same part here. Same thing. So all these things are same. So because you can able to see here, it is down. That's it. Okay. That, that's part. Okay. So what about your area? Your area is same. We will get same area which is 579.89. Your x bar, 
I think there is no change in my X bar. So you will get same 66.2, right? Because the, the offset distance is same. So you will get the same value here. Y bar is alone will change, which is 14.8, so no, half of it. Okay, so there is no 50, offset distance of 50. Now we can add this, so it is similar to that. So 579.89 into 66.2, similarly 579.89 into 14.87. So what are my values? 383.8.7. So this alone will change. So 8622.9. Very good. Okay. The next step is I'm going to consider the last one. Right. So this is my semicircle. Right. This is my semicircle. Okay, so it is touching, it is touching. So there won't be any offset here. If I consider the area, area is same. There is no difference in the area. Uh, I'll get 579.89. Your X bar, it is opposite. It is a mirror image. That, that's what we identified previously. 25 minus 11.2, which is 13.8. That is my X bar. X bar is 13.8. Y bar, there is no change, 14.87, right? So again, so we can multiply these things. So 579.89 into 13.8, 579.89 into 14.87, right? So I think this will be same 8622.9, right? So let us consider this alone. What is the value for this? 8002.4. Right? So any doubt in this? So all the values has been added. So I have considered everything. So only thing is I have to add. Okay. So let us add, let us identify what is my sigma A. Right? Sigma A is so 2400. Plus 3 into 579.89 because it is 3 times. So 1, 2, 3. So I, I multiplying with 3. So what is the value for sigma A? 4139.67. 4139.67 mm. Mm square, sorry. Mm square. Now sigma A into x bar. We will add all these things. So 9600, right? So 96000 plus two times of 38388.38388.7 plus 8002.4, right? What is the value? 180779. Right, so yeah, mm square. Right, next sigma a into y bar. If I consider sigma a into y bar again, nine six double zero. Right, three seven okay, nine six double zero plus three seven six one seven point four six. Right, in plus two times of 8622.9. So, what is my A into Y bar? 150863. 150863 mm square. Right, okay. So, now we'll identify the overall capital X bar. Capital X bar is sigma A into X bar divided by sigma A is equal to. 180779 divided by 4139.67. So, this is the value. Similarly, we can also identify capital Y bar. So, capital Y bar sigma A into capital small y bar divided by sigma A, which is 150863 divided by 
So what is the values for X bar? And X bar 43.66. So 43.66. Very good. Y bar? So Y bar 36.44. 36.44, very good. Okay, we identified the value. Any doubt up to this? Okay, we will proceed. Now, I got my values here, right? So you look here, so I fixed my object in my first quadrant. This is my axis. This is my axis, this is my X axis, X dash. Let me call it as X dash, because they mentioned this as X and Y, okay? So, and uh, this is my Y axis. Okay, this is my y dash. You know we identify what is the offset distance with respect to these things, right? Which you know, which is 40 and 15. So this is 40 and this is 15. Okay. With respect to this axis, with respect to this axis, we got what is our x bar and y bar. What is my X bar? It is 43, 43.66, right? So somewhere here, and 36 point, 36.44, it, it will be somewhere here in this location, right? So the real value is 43. The real value is, you know that, this is 43.66. Right, but the given axis is offset to 40. Right, you can able to see. So what I will do, so my X bar, real X bar. So based on the question, my X bar will be 43.66 minus 40. Right, it will be getting 3.66 mm. That is my X bar based on this axis. Right, similarly, if I want Y bar, Y bar is, you can able to see that, this is my Y bar. Y bar, you can able to see the distance is around 36.44, right? So your Y bar is 36.44 minus this 15, right? Because we are offsetting it, right? So minus 15, right? So you will get 20, 1.44 mm right this is my real answer right this is my real answer based on the problem right based on the axis which is given yeah that's all for today we will stop here we will continue tomorrow